You're watching Telecom TV from the SDN World Congress event at The Hague. And I'm joined now by Angela Whiteford, who is Vice President, Marketing and Product Management at Affirmed Networks. Angela, thanks for joining us again on Telecom TV. Happy to be here. Now, can I ask about the relationship that Affirmed Networks has with HPE and Intel? How long have you been in this NFE-focused partnership? Honestly, since our inception. So Affirmed was founded in 2010. Mm and we were founded on an NFV architecture. So it's been great. We've actually been working with Intel and HPE the entire time. And tell me what Affirm Networks does. Affirm Networks builds virtual network functions. Our claim to fame is our virtual EPC architecture, primarily. So how does the utilization of ecosystems such as network builders and open NFV, how does that benefit Affirm Networks? Uh, it's, it's about performance foremost performance, and then technology capabilities. From a performance standpoint with Intel, the chipsets, every time Intel comes out with a new chipset, we see a 30% performance uh, boost in our application. From an HPE standpoint, from the hardware side, we see excellent performance from the NFEI architecture. Also, when we're looking at things in terms of carrier grade or carrier grade OpenStack capabilities, HPE really brings that knowledge and understanding to the table as well. Now, as I understand it, Affirm Networks has announced a pre-integrated, fully virtualized and end-to-end -end mobile packet core in partnership with HPE. Um, what benefits does this bring to service providers? Right now in the market, there's lots of combinations and permutations when it comes to the NFBI, right? So the NFV infrastructure. When you try to bring these different combinations together, there's always integration complexity. And it just takes longer for the operators to get their networks in service or to get their networks into a pilot configuration. By Affirmed and HPE coming together and doing the pre-integration work, it just makes everything go faster. So it really accelerates our ability to go into trials quickly, to be able to benchmark a high level of performance and then get into live networks. So what differentiates this VEPC solution from others on the market? There's two ways people get to virtualization. There's one where people had a, and I should say vendors have a hardware architecture, so they had a hardware-based DPC capability, and they virtualized that. There are other vendors like us who actually built it from the ground up to be cloud native, and that's the difference. And what that translates into is back to performance. You want to have the highest performing application in the smallest footprint possible. That's all about efficiency. And that's what you can do when you start from a cloud native standpoint. Now we're hearing a lot at the moment about the telco cloud. So how does this solution help service providers make that transformation to the telco cloud? It's, it's really about confidence and capabilities, right? So when you go to a telco cloud, it's not like virtualization hasn't been around for a while. It has in the enterprise environment. But you apply virtualization to telco applications or packet forwarding applications like an EPC, it's a whole different ballgame. And the carrier grade capabilities in terms of resiliency, high availability, security, all come into play here. And having the integration, the pre-testing, pre-configured integration work with HPE really allows us to hit those capabilities that are essential for the operators. Final question I'd like to ask you about is about openness. Why is openness important to the development and evolution of NFV in service providers' networks? I'm going to sound like a broken record. It really comes back to performance. We're seeing two, performance is one. So I can give examples of DPDK as an example where it's allowed packet forwarding applications to perform at a higher level. Also in terms of just technology innovation in general, um, the ability to do things like IPsec encryption all in software, that was unheard of. Intel brought cri crypto libraries to the table to do that. Just the ability to rapidly innovate in these different technology spectrums, that's all through openness, really. Great. Well, Angela, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.